Hello, in this session we're going to look at just a couple quick miscellaneous tools, uh, how to open a PKT file, make a quick change, and and save it as maybe a new PKT file. We're also going to add an image and add an help document. Uh, we do this prior to going into Civil 3D. So let's jump over to SubAssembly Composer and take a quick look. Okay, so we're in SubAssembly Composer. Um, I'm going to open up an existing SubAssembly PKT file. I'm just going to go to Recent Files, and I'm going to use the one we just finished, which is the daylight with the shoulder curved to the daylight to surface. You know, maybe we want to make a quick change to this, um, something simple. I'm going to do a Save As. That way we don't overwrite our other one. I'm just going to add daylight to the name. So now it's going to be called Daylight Rounded Target. I'm just going to hit save. We want to make a couple quick changes here just to the subassembly name. We could adjust the description if needed. Um, we can add a help file on an image. I'll come right back to that. But we want to make just, again, a simple change. Uh, another tool we haven't used yet, daylight rounding out of the advanced geometry. I'm just going to drag and drop that under L3. And then we need to give it some parameters. So the link codes, I'm going to code it as top. Daylight link, we want to tell it what is it going to fill it or radius from. And in our case, the daylight link is L3. So I want to say use L3 as the daylight link. We also need to tell it the surface, and we're going to use surface target. Okay, so quickly and easily we can make that change. We now have an additional subassembly that is a smooth transition um, from shoulder to daylight to surface with those rounded corners. So you can always take those PKT files, make quick edits, and have additional uh, tools for it at your disposal. Um, a couple things we want to add to it. We want to add a help file. We want to add an image. These images can be simple. Um, PNG files, maybe you just take a screenshot of this. Uh, let me come into here. And, you know, it could be, let me open up an example here. It could be something similar to this where you have more of a detail you have some dimensions, some callouts or something, or you can just take a screenshot of your preview menu and maybe that's your image. But this image will come into Civil 3D. This will show up in your tool palette. So it's nice to have an image in there. That way they can quickly look, hover over it uh, in Civil 3D and, and see that. So I'm gonna use this one, shoulder rounded target, just a PNG, it can be a JPEG, GIF, BMP, any file type you want. Okay, the help file, again, that's not a requirement of SubAssembly Composer, but it's very helpful for users downstream. So I'm going to just open up a quick example of that help file. And all the help file is is a Word document, uh, typically a name, a description, a preview, and then information about that uh, SubAssembly. So it's an editable Word document, easy to edit. You can take it to the extreme detail, or you can make a very nice, simple help document that will help users understand that subassembly you've created. So I'm just going to hit open there. So now we have a revised subassembly, a subassembly name, a description that will show up as you hover in Civil 3D, a help file, and an image. So very simple things prior to getting into Civil 3D that could help add value to those sub-assemblies that you create for all your users.